All right. Okay, YouTube community. All right. You know I have to sink my teeth into this because, again, there's a lot of stuff that's going on on the Internet. And basically, a lot of he say, she say, and all of this other type of stuff. And I think um, I want to kind of chime and put my two cents in there regarding this whole issue regarding Kiki and her baby daddy and this whole situation. Okay. You know, it's very interesting <laughs> about this whole situation because, you know, I believe that it, social media is something else, you know, and what and there's just some things that really that should not even be posted online, especially when it could uh, involve the destruction of a relationship. You know, I believe that society would be better off in most cases without social media because it's like when you get social media involved in things misunderstandings happen you know people start I guess putting their two cents in and adding things to which is not even you know what the situation is really about and you know people misinterpret things and basically it just caused a whole lot of problems you know and you know I believe we have a case here where, you know, we have black men against black women. And I pretty much knew from the moment that I actually heard about this, you know, that this was going to be the end result. You know, and again, I don't like to rush and do videos, you know, until I get the full outcome or, you know, or until I get the full story and I pretty much just let the whole thing write itself out before I actually want to post a video about its entire situation. Because again, I pretty much knew that there was going to be more to the situation. You know, that's why I don't like to rush and do things until we get the full story. And of course the outcome in some sort of capacity. But my main thing is that, This situation is a learning lesson. It really is. It's a lesson. It's, it's, I believe I'm an educational type of person. I, be, I look for the education and everything. And what I mean by that is that I'm looking for what I can take away from it that I can apply to real life, that I can apply to me to help me become a better person. I can't speak for everybody else, but that's pretty much how I look at things when we, you know, look at certain situations as far as what other people are going through, you know, and again, you know, you kind of, in a sense, kind of put yourself in their situation and say, okay, you know what, what would I do in this situation or what would I, what I wouldn't do, you know, just something, you know, to kind of help you to kind of, you know, live a better life, be a better person, that sort of thing. But this whole thing actually, it, it, it's just messed up, you know, a lot of people, and especially black women, they, one thing that I have to say is that, and I'm not being a misogynist, and again, spare me for those that, you know, that want to claim that that's what I am. But again, it really doesn't matter because again, I'm going to say what I got to say. You already know that. But black women like to live vicariously through other black women. You know, especially if they pretty much have a banging body, okay, and they look halfway decent. They want to actually live the life or in some cases they want to actually be that person that they're actually admiring, if you if you will. Kiki Palmer is not really somebody that I would actually say that I would follow. I mean, I've seen some of her movies and stuff that she played in when she was younger. I think she was like she grew up on the on the Disney network. You know, she, you know, grew up through the ranks of, you know, starring in children's movies and stuff. And then she, of course, got bigger roles and, and more mature things and this, that and the other. I was never really a follower of her work, but I do know that she did some movies. And again, I'm not saying that, you know, that she... I'm not saying that I don't like any of her work, but it's just the fact that I just never really thought anything of it. She really hasn't done anything where I would say, you know what? I really enjoy how she played in such and such movie. You know, she was I never really got that vibe from her. It's just the fact that I never really paid much attention to her. She never really did anything that caused me to want to follow her throughout her career. 
And like I say, when she really, and one thing about it again is that uh, I'm not saying that to be mean because of this situation, but I just never really had any interest in her. The sad, the thing about it again is that as she grew up, you know, she began to become more mature. She became, she became more vocal, you know, and started getting this quote unquote attitude, you know, that most black women have where, you know, I'm this, that, and the other and start running off at the mouth. That's when I pretty much n- knew from that point that, okay, you know what? I definitely need to kind of turn around and, and, you know, and not pay her any attention on anything that she says, because basically she's speaking out of the side of her neck or speaking off of somebody else's philosophy. But anyway, I don't want to get too far off topic. But when you become a woman, the main thing that I see that most black women want is to be respected, to be loved. And out of all of this, you know, finger snapping and all this other type of stuff, fast talking that most of them do, when you peel, uh, when you move across and move out of, move all of that crazy stuff out of the way and get to the core of what, you know, they're wanting, they want to actually feel like they are, are appreciated or loved, you know, especially from, you know, black men. But what we have here is a tale where they're wanting to express that, but they're doing it in a wrong way. Now, I don't know if Kiki's relationship with her baby daddy, and I hate to use that word baby daddy, but again, that's what we have in the black community. Really too much of it. But anyway, you know, I don't know if there were some other underlying issues that was going on in the relationship that actually, you know, caused her to go out there and act a fool like she did. Or I, I'll just come out and say it, acting like a complete whore from the streets. But... What she did, I believe, is just plain disrespectful. A lot of people are actually clowning. I forgot her baby daddy's name, but a lot of people are wanting to say that he's a trainer. He's not really nobody doesn't really know much about him. You know, he's a nobody, this, that, and the other. So how dare he say anything about how she looks or what she can and can't do, this, that, and the other, you know, yada, yada, yada. And, you know, I'm listening to these things, you know, in the videos and I'm listening to these threads on Facebook, you know, because, again, the story is all over social media. But I'm listening to some of the comments and everything about what they're saying. <clears throat> and for the most part, these females are actually saying, well, you know, he deserves to be cheated on because he's a nobody, this, that and the other. What really bothers me is when you have these ignorant black women That's talking out of the side of their ass. And I don't usually talk like that, but you can tell that I'm really pissed because one thing that I don't like is disrespect. I don't like to disrespect when it's not warranted for either a man or a woman. But this actually really burns my hide because basically they are really ignoring the fact of the issue as far as what this does to a man. And see, When you have a bunch of ignorant women that are sitting up there parading a woman that has a child from a man, regardless of his status in society, that's regard that that's beside the point. But you have her up there and you're parading her and letting her know, oh, you go and do this, that, and the other, encouraging this woman to basically have dry sex with Usher because Usher was the one that was serenading her, letting her know that, oh, she's this, that, and the other, go ahead and do your thing. I really don't have much hope for black women. Because, again, they're lost. I would say Generation X, black women, X, Y, Z, or whatever, those that was born in the early 90s moving forward, they really don't have the wherewithal to understand what's really important about life. See, one thing about it, again, is that uh, when I used used to look at Kiki as a young girl, as she was growing up, you know, and and getting movie roles. See, one thing about it is that influence is something else. And I always tell people, you know, you got to be careful about who, who you surround yourself with, who you entertain or who you are allowed to entertain you. Because one thing about it is that the people or the things that you hang around, you're going to eventually become those things because you don't know nothing else because you're getting your instructions based on whatever it is that you're entertaining or what you're allowing to entertain you. And when we're growing up in an era where 
The woman is independent. Oh, she's going out and getting her bag. She's the one that's the breadwinner in the relationship. I don't care what that I don't I'm not even interested in that. And see, these women, these ignorant women are the main ones who are up there parading her to act like a whore. But I promise you out of all of that, I guarantee you that nine times out of ten, if they were to see that dude on the street, I guarantee you someone would be trying to slide into his DMs. These same women that's, that's educating and actually let, telling her that it's okay to act like that despite the fact that she has a baby daddy. But anyway, they're encouraging this woman to sit up there and behave like this all dry. And I mean, doing all these type of inappropriate things, not to mention she's dressed inappropriately. So that lets me know right there that she has no respect, number one, not for herself or her quote unquote family. So basically that lets me know right there, there had to be, I believe, some other some underlying issues in the relationship or otherwise she wouldn't even just go out there and just basically behave like a wanton slut. So basically now we have a situation here. So women are giving her a pass because they're saying that, you know, just because those two are not married, her and her baby daddy, that she can go and do whatever she wants. She can behave however she wants, because, again, she she's the breadwinner. She makes the money. People know her. And because they know her and society really doesn't know him as, you know, only to the, I think they, that he's a personal trainer that gives her the OK and they give her a pass to do what she's doing. And see, one thing about it, again, that's the reason why most black men now opt to not even want to deal with black women. Because they feel that they can actually sit up there and actually wave their purse over a man's head and try to use that as a way to keep him in check. I don't care if the dude worked at Popeye's or had a part time job. The fact is that I don't care if the woman stepped out and dressed like that. That's disrespectful to him. It does not matter how much money she has. The fact is she disrespected him and made this man look like a fool. That's the part where I'm trying to understand and trying to to let to try to bring across to these ignorant females. But the issue is they don't even they don't have the wherewithal to understand how their thinking can cause. They don't understand the error in their thinking. They figure that, OK, since this woman has that she's the breadwinner, because remember, the, the women of today, they're all about the money. They figure that since they got more education, they got this, that, the other. The fact is that they can, that she got more options and stuff like this. Let me tell you something. OK, a man. I don't care, again, what type of job he has or whatever. And see, we're not even all about the degrees or anything like that. All of this stuff came about about from, you know, this women's movement or whatever the case may be. What is it? Uh, feminism and stuff. This is where all of this baloney and everything comes. This is this. That feminism bull is for women that can't think for themselves. They're going off of somebody else's philosophy. That is a philosophy to keep black men and black women separated. That's what that our philosophy is all about. People need to go and research instead of running off their mouth. Because, again, we're living in a society now where you have just a bunch of first class idiots. They go off of what somebody say without researching and they're trying to use that as their truth. Didn't even open up a book and they can't even give you a basic definition of what feminism is all about. Who started it? What does it involve? How does it affect people? I do not like to sit up there and actually try to try to educate somebody who don't want to be educated. I'm not saying that I know everything, but I know a little something, something. And I know a lot to say that that's the reason why I am glad that I am not in a relationship these days. With, and like I say, I'm not saying that it'll be this way for the rest of my life. But right now, I'm so glad that I don't have to deal with a foolish woman because y'all are foolish. You say and do things and don't understand the repercussions of your actions. You say that you want to be in relationships or whatever, but yet still, when you get in one, you, you, you abuse the man by doing stupid stuff like this. So now they want to sit up there and judge him and say, well, he has no right to tell her what to do because he's not married to her. 
Well, you know what? You might have a point right there, like I say, but you got to understand something. I'm all about the Bible. And yeah, the fact is, you know, okay, of course, having a baby out of wedlock and stuff, again, if it's wrong, it's wrong. I'm not going to condemn either of them in that because it is what it is. But you can't go back and, you know, erase time. They have a baby now. The baby is the blessing. The act of how the baby came about, that's the part where, you know, it was wrong. If you want to get, you know, specific. But the fact is that this, you know, she has a baby and she chose this man to lay down with, to have the baby with. So basically, again, you know, her going out there acting like that, again, is a disrespect to this man. And like I say, the only thing that I actually fought him about in this whole situation is that the words that he actually posted on social media, he should have told her that behind closed doors. That's all that I'm saying. That's, that's, as far as I'm concerned, that's his only fault as far as I'm concerned. Anytime you have a situation like this and see one thing about it, especially when it's with somebody who is in this celebrity world, they should, number one, keep their business off of social media because social media was the cause of them actually breaking up. Yeah, they broke up. There was news reports that are saying that he dumped her, but the women would, of course, want to change the narrative and say, oh, no, he didn't dump her. She dumped him. I don't care who dumped who. The fact is, is that if people would stay out of, they, out of other folks' business, they probably would have had a chance of working it out. But see, one thing about it, again, is these ignorant black women that was pumping it up in Kiki's head to sit there and say, well, you know what? She's better off without him anyway. Well, how do you know that? Do you live in their house? That's one thing I do not like. And again, I, I don't have any, I love my black women. But one thing about it, that's why I, 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 I have to distance myself. Because again, you say stupid stuff without really understanding what you're saying. And then you wonder why when a brother get, makes, gets up to the point of being somewhat successful or having some sort of social significance, you wonder why he doesn't choose you and he opts to go with somebody that's outside of the black race. And you get mad. You have the gall to get mad about it too. You deserve every bit of it. You go where you feel you are happy. You go where you feel you are respected. And most of today's black women, they don't know how to respect a black man. You want to know why? Because they don't know how to respect themselves first. Most of them grow up with daddy issues because daddy wasn't there to show them the fact of, you know, how a man supposed to treat a woman, how a woman supposed to conduct herself as a lady. It's a sad thing when a man has to tell a woman how to be a lady. Any man that's worth something and he takes the time to tell his this young daughter how to be a lady, you best believe that daddy cares about his daughter. And it would behoove that daughter to listen to everything that the daddy is telling her because, again, he knows how men think. Why? Because he is one. And if he got, and it's a sad thing, you got a lot of men now having to teach these grown behind women these overly educated women on how to be classy so they can get a man. It's just, it's ridiculous. I, I mean, it's, it's sad. And we're the only race that have issues. We're the only race that I've seen where the black men and black women, they constantly compete against one another. I haven't seen that in the Asian community. I haven't seen that in any other community except for the black folk. We're the only ones with issues. But now they, you know, the relationship is over and rightfully so. Because, again, the man felt disrespected. I cannot blame him for that. He had a baby by a woman, and the thing about it, the woman, deep down, they, she didn't respect him. And the thing about it, the sad part about it is that these other women that are gassing Kiki up, I, you best believe it wouldn't surprise me if one, some of them find this dude on the street, they'll try to slide in his DMs or try to get with him and try to have a baby by him too. They'll try to jump in the sack with him. He's not a bad looking dude. So I'm pretty sure another woman would find him attractive. Probably the same women that are up there that are 
talking and talking their trash, saying that she's better off with them. That's why one thing about it is that most black women, y'all better be careful about who y'all call y'all friend. Because I'm going to let you know right now, and I mentioned this in other videos, black women have a natural adversarial relationship with other black women. Oh, you sitting up there, kiki and ha-ha, that's my girlfriend and all this other type of stuff. But I guarantee you, and when you turn that corner and when they get back to themselves or whatever, they're sitting up there naming off of everything that they don't like about that person. She thinks she cute. She thinks she bad just because this, that, and the other. I mean, I mean, naming off things left and right. But yet still putting on a fake front as if y'all the best of friends, my bestie and stuff like that. So Phony as all hell. That's why with most black men, if they're smart, they choose not to even deal with that drama. And that's why they go where they don't have to deal with drama. And that's with women of other races. I understand that. I'm not saying that it's right, but I can understand black men. We already know that we got a lot going on. We got a lot that we have to deal with. And the reason why we have to deal with it is because of a lot of stuff that we taking off of their behavior. We're being cheated out of jobs and stuff like that. And the sad part about it is most of us can't even get into school and graduate good because a lot of most of the schools are being taken up with black women. They're getting their degrees. They're the what breadwinners. They're the one that's out, you know, outperforming the black man. So the thing about it is that, OK, well, now that becomes an issue. And, 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 and spare me the part about the insecurity part, because, again, a lot of women were saying, you know what? He needs to be quiet because he's insecure. Well, if you want to, let's talk about that, the insecurity thing. Because, again, we don't know where all of that insecurity came from. Again, we're only looking at this from the outside in. We're only looking at this because, again, of issues and pictures and videos that was posted on social media. Insecurity comes from somewhere. And see, one thing about it, again, we don't know how they talk to one another behind closed doors. And see, I've been around a lot of folks, in, and I know for the most part how most black women, when they, call, when they call themselves, got a little money and a little change, a little education, I sat there and witnessed how they'll talk to their significant others and make that person feel low. I know how that feels. I've seen it a lot of times. So if that if, so basically if he if that is the issue where he's feeling insecure, I, I can almost believe that it probably has something to do with how she talks to him, because my thing about it is that if she's willing to openly and freely act as if she's a single woman, there's no telling how she talked to that man behind closed doors. And I promise you that they're probably had conversations where she probably brought up the fact that she makes more money than him and all this type of stuff. Why? Because that's how black women talk. So you know what? If he if he has an insecurity, I guess what? I guarantee you she's the one that caused him to have it. So one thing about it again is that people don't understand. Another man can understand how another man would feel. That's why, you know, I put myself in his shoes. I know I can I can only imagine how he feels, and the only thing that he can do now is just walk away. Because he feels now that America has judged him, they misunderstood him. They took his words out of context and they're trying to turn it into something that it's not. So he did what he felt that he had to do and just walk away and say, you know what? I, I, I give up. I quit. I don't want to be a part of this. See, it's so funny when you don't have nothing. You are the most humble person. You're the most likable person. You can be a, you're a joy to be around. Because we're, we're actually getting ready to see the genuine you. We know and we can conversate because I'm conversating with the real you. But when success comes in there, especially with black women and I, for most black women, and I've seen it time and time again, even in my church. God opens the door and allows you to get a little success. And next thing you know, that success goes to your head. Next thing you know, the woman wants to divorce the man. Don't even want to have anything to do with them anymore. Talking bad about them. Oh, I never liked you anyway. I only was with you because of such and such and such and such. And I mean, you don't understand what that does to that man's self-esteem. 
And I can only imagine that if he had the chance, he could he would want to wrap his hand. I, now, I don't advocate violence. But that's the way some men think. You sit up there and you put me through this trying to make me feel low. I ought to break your. Mm. Because that's how he feels. And rightfully so. So if he has an issue with insecurity, as a lot of these black women, ignorant black women, might I tell you, if he say if that's the case, then you know what? More than likely he got it from somewhere and rightfully so. A lot of times and what I've seen a lot of times, especially in this climate where things have changed, where the woman is the one that's actually the breadwinner in the relationship. She's taken. She feels that she has to take over the role and become the new man and see. My thing is that it doesn't matter who makes most money or whatever the case may be. The Bible already explained and dictates on what or how a relationship is supposed to run. The dynamics of a relationship, a marriage. Now, I understand that they weren't married. But, you know, you never know. They maybe was on the road to marriage. I don't know. But based on how that was, I'm glad that it wasn't that way. But in a relationship. The man is supposed to lead. It does not have anything to do with money or education, ladies, if you, for whoever is choosing to listen to this. It's all about the influence, the leadership. And that's not to say that the man would make all of the right decisions all the time. The woman is there to be a helpmate. To help him to be the rightful leader. But when you have the roles that are reversed. Where the woman now is the one that's making all of the money and doing this, that, and the other. Like I said, sometimes life happens where the woman has to be placed in that leadership role. I understand that. But just generally speaking, you have women these days that are wanting to get into relationships where they want to control the man. In every aspect. And then when they make more money and have the education, oh man, you can't tell them nothing. Everything has to go how they wants to go. The, the sun has to rise and set on their command. Man, please, there's no man, no uh, logical thinking man that would want to be in a relationship like that. I know I wouldn't. So, like I say, it's probably best that they do part ways. And I was so happy when I saw that that headline that, you know, that. Now, they're saying that he dumped her, but it does not matter who dumped to. I'm just glad that, you know what? Somebody had enough common sense to, to leave so somebody can get some relief. Because, again, that's just that's just too disrespectful. The issue is that whenever a woman disrespects a man. The issue is that America is going to clown the man because they're going to assume that he can't control his woman. And it makes him look like he's weak. And the thing about it, again, is that, you know, I don't know his personality. I don't know anything about him. Like I say, all I do is I knew I saw him in pictures and everything else, you know, when she was pregnant by him and stuff like that. That's the only way that's the only way that I knew who this person was. I don't know what he is, you know, outside of the tabloids and all that. I don't know. But the fact is, is that it makes him look weak. And it makes her look like she's the more masculine one, even though she was up there parading around like a whore. All rubbing up on Usher and Usher, like I say, you know, he's a man and I'm not giving him no passes either because the issue is, is that we ought to know his story. So I wouldn't expect anything more or less from him other than what he's doing, because he's that's that's just him. But Kiki. She didn't respect this man to begin with, seems like, because there's no way baby daddy marriage or whatever. If you carried yourself in a respectful manner and does, and carried yourself in a way that is commanding of respect, you would not even number one, come out there dressed like that, like a slut. And twirling around and doing all this other just just doing the most. And looking very cheap. And that's one thing about it is that when you start to break things down and, and remove the layers and everything like this, you begin to see what the person is all about. She won't what she's looking for. She's looking for validation. 
And again, that's what a lot of women want. I didn't say all women people. I said a lot of them because I don't know all women. Okay? But that's what they're looking for, validation. Oh, she done had a baby, you know, she was dealing with postpartum depression and all this other type of stuff. Look, I don't really, I'm not concerned about all of that. Because again, you got a lot of women that she's not the only black woman that had a baby. You got a lot of them that still was able to keep it classy. Even after battling postpartum and stuff like that. And they were still able to keep it classy and hold it together. So don't give me that. I'm not giving her no passes on this. Because she doesn't deserve any. The fact is, she was wrong for what she did. And I might be the only one that may feel this way. And it does not matter because, again, this is my channel. She was wrong for what she did. She clowned her baby's daddy. And I hate to use that word, but it is what it is. And she figured that these same women that are parading around for her, those are going to still be her quote unquote sisters. And like I say, these sisters are very flaky. Because again, they don't like each other either. There's a lot of lessons to be learned from this. A lot. And the thing about it again is that, you know, she may move on and I don't know, may find another man and this, that, and the other. But the issue is, is that for those that are looking at this from the outside, look at it for what it is. Take notes. Because, again, this is how today's most of today's black women behave, especially when they are successful. They are the most dis, they are the most difficult people to deal with. And that's one thing I do not have the patience for is dealing with difficult people. The older we get as men, black men, respectable black men, the ones that are worth having. We don't deal with that pettiness and see all that is is pettiness. That's childishness. That's somebody that actually went out there. They, that's somebody that's wanted to go out there to make somebody jealous. And before I deal in that, I would much rather just walk away. Because, again, it's not worth it. Dealing with somebody who has daddy issues, wanting to have the validations and stuff like that. Man, look, that's why the word of advice that I give people these days, especially with young men that are actually seeking and wanting to kind of look for courtship and all this type of stuff. Make sure you, you, you go into this. Make sure you investigate these people that you're calling yourself getting into a relationship with. Meet the whole family. Especially the daddy. Okay, where's your, okay, we met your mom. Where's your daddy? Okay, oh, well, I, never, I didn't have a father in my life. Well, you know what? Okay, we're going to have a problem here. Now, that's not to say that's the case with every relationship where a woman didn't grow up with her father. But I'm saying just generally speaking, when you have these females that have been raised by mother and mother only and didn't have no masculine or fatherly influence in their lives. My honest opinion, for the most part, steer clear from them. Steer clear from them. Because, again, they're going to be growing up with issues with as far as validation, wanting to seek attention. And if they feel that they can't get it from you, they'll go out there and behave in ways that are unladylike to get what they didn't get at home from the father. But again, I can go on and on with this, but I think I've ran my mouth too much already. And it's going to be interesting to see how this thing plays out because this really, this really took a piece out of me. And I really don't like to do videos like this because again, it was uncalled for. All right. Y'all be blessed and talk to you soon.